When people think of clean tech, they think of wind turbines or solar panels. I don't think they think about cement. Cement is ubiquitous. It's used in virtually everything. Roads and bridges and dams and sidewalks and basements, and skyscrapers. And it's the most massively consumed material on the planet besides water. And that's a good thing, but it's also a problem. Cement is responsible for 8% of global CO2 emissions and we're going to use more and more cement in the coming decades. Cement has been used for thousands of years, but making the modern day version generates huge amounts of greenhouse gas emissions, which further jeopardizes global climate goals. Now, innovators are racing for a solution to decarbonize the world's building blocks. Sublime Systems is a startup developing new technology to make low carbon cement. Cement made without fossil fuel and without limestone. Cement is very difficult to decarbonize. That's because of the fundamentals of the way it's made. So cement is made in an enormous fossil fuel fired kiln. You need to get to temperatures around 1400 degrees Celsius to make today's modern cement that we've been using for the past 200 years. The primary ingredient in cement is called limestone, which makes up about half of cement's CO2 footprint. So what Sublime Systems does differently is we have an electrochemical approach that extracts calcium from minerals at ambient temperature and can make a cement without the high temperatures needed to break down limestone. And this process also allows us to avoid the use of limestone too. So there's a number of different calcium bearing minerals that we can digest and process electrochemically to make a cement powder that ultimately goes to make the same hardened concrete that we've been using for millennia. Sublime Cement is designed to be a form fit function replacement for Portland cement. So it comes as a powder, just like today's Portland cement, you add water to it in the same ratios that you use today, mix it, and it has the same strength, set time, flow, and durability as today's cement. The Boston-based startup has raised $40 million so far. And while investors are excited by its two-step cement making process, Sublime will have a long way to go to prove the technology can work at scale. It's also making claims about a perfect replacement for a widely available, cheap commodity, which will have to be thoroughly tested by a conservative construction industry that has to choose to use Sublime Cement over the current version. The startup will have to do all that in a very short time, which will make it even more challenging. The biggest hurdle for Sublime Systems will be the time and the money needed to scale up. So we measure our impact in the amount of cement produced and sold and replacing the carbon intensive version that's out there today. So that is a massive undertaking. So 4 billion tons of cement per year, we're going to need time to get to that scale, and then also money. The cost of cement is very important. Today, cement is very inexpensive with an average price of around $130 a ton. We have to achieve that cost if we're going to have that swift and massive impact. So our goal at Sublime is to move from our 100 ton per day pilot plant that we're operating now in Somerville, Massachusetts, and get that to 30,000 tons per year. That's our demonstration scale. Sublime intends to build its first million ton per year cement plant as soon as 2027. The concrete industry and the construction industry and cement industry, they're very stoic. So they are risk adverse as they should be. It's an industry where you really can't have things go wrong, but they're very, very committed to decarbonization. So the demand for low carbon cement is huge. Between now and 2050, we have to achieve net zero. We're going to mitigate the worst of climate change, but we also have to provide resilient housing for the world's growing and urbanizing population. So it's estimated that between 50 and 70% of the buildings that will exist in 2050 have yet to be built. So that is a huge number. It means that the floor space on earth will, will likely double between now and, and 2050. And that means that there has to be a new way of making cement. 
We are not doing this because it's easy. We're doing this because it's hard and it's important and it's urgent.